This is by far the worst pistol I have ever had and would not recommend it to anybody to purchase. And this is the Ruger LCP. Now maybe this is an unpopular opinion or I am just perhaps late to the show, but man, I gotta tell you, this thing is just awful. Now, let me tell you a quick story of how I kind of ended up with this pistol and, and why I chose it. So I was in the market for a concealed carry pistol. I wanted something that was small, uh, that was lightweight, that would have a very small footprint. Because at the time, I really liked to carry uh, with a tucked-in shirt. I really liked having a tucked-in shirt. And I found that this was the easiest way uh, to carry while wearing a tucked in shirt. And you can see this pistol has an incredibly small footprint. I mean, when it's all together, it fits in the side, in the palm of my hand, which was really quite incredible to me. Now, I was at a gun show and I came across this, uh, this Ruger LCP Pro, uh, as they call it. Now, several weeks before, I was at the gun range and I was testing out pistols uh, uh, that I wanted to get as a concealed carry. And they had a normal Ruger LCP and shooting it at the range at like five yards. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. The trigger was just mush. The sights on the, I guess, regular LCP are literally just like nubs. They're not even like raised. They're just little humps in the slide. And it was awful. I couldn't hit anything, and the trigger was terrible. And I just said, you know what, LCP is not for me. So back to the to the gun show. At the gun show, I come across this Ruger LCP. I'm like, what? You know, it's got this red trigger and it's got these sights. What's the deal? Well, it turns out it's it was a model they put out called the Ruger LCP Pro, and from the factory it came with this enhanced trigger and it came with these sights and I was like oh great that literally solved my two issues was the trigger and the sights so I went ahead and purchased it and I carried it for for a while for several years and you know it it, it fit the bill for what I needed at the time the magazine has uh, six rounds and then you know one in the barrel and it's a heavy double action trigger. So I, I'd carry uh, one in the barrel, six in the magazine, so seven shots total. However, the big issue I have that I've lost all faith in this pistol uh, is after carrying it for, I don't know, about a year uh, between you know an interval of when I was carrying it and when I took it to the range to shoot. I'm going to the range, practicing drawing it, and I go to shoot, and it fires, and I have a, a failure failure to feed. The next round doesn't go all the way into battery, so I'm like, oh, that, that's weird. I start pounding on the slide to get it to, to go shut. I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's a case issue. Maybe maybe the ammo I have is bad. So I tried new new ammo. Could not get a shell to close. So what I found was that the extractor would not seat and wrap around the edge of the case. And so I took it all apart and what I found out was that the extractor spring and part of the extractor was all rusted up. You can kind of see uh, with my light flashing down the, the slide here. The pocket and how it's kind of that rusty color. Now along with that being rusted, this spring was rusted as well. Now, let's see if I can get a good, good picture on it. This spring was rusted. I mean some, some, some serious issues that was causing, uh, causing this gun to not feed and go into battery. So I was like, okay, you know, I was carrying it uh, on body in a humid environment. You know, I was getting sweat on it. I was like, okay, 
you know, I just got to change the, uh, I got to change that extractor spring, clean it really well, oil it, you know, maybe it was just an extractor spring that didn't get, uh, finished right. Maybe they had issues, uh, with some of the parts. So I changed out the extractor spring and I think I even put a new extractor in as well, just to, just to call everything, uh, good and safe. Went another like year carrying it and, uh, same story again at the range take it out to shoot first round fires and then the next round behind it uh failure failure to uh failure to feed and failure to seat the chamber uh the extractor was just not wrapping around the casing and so I was like you know what it is the exact same issue I had the first time and so I took it apart again, and here you see that, again, there is still rust in there. Um, and at this point, you know, I'm I'm just kind of defeated. Um, you know, I'm tired of, of jacking around with cleaning all this stuff, oiling all this stuff constantly, and it's still rusting. You know, this is a big, uh, a big problem for me, and I do not feel comfortable... Uh, not knowing if I'm going to have follow-up follow up rounds with this extractor. So I don't know if this is just a materials issue. Um, I mean, if you're producing a pistol like this, you've got to expect that it's going to be in humid, humid environments. Uh, up against somebody will be exposed to, uh, to some sweat as well. So uh, I'm very disappointed with with the performance of this pistol. Here is the little, I guess, detent. I think some sort of, it's a detent for the extractor. And I think this was causing some issues too, that it's, you can see it's a little bit rusted um, in some spaces. So I know they have a, another model, the Ruger LCP-2, kind of like the next generation of the Ruger LCP. You know, I haven't shot the LCP-2. Uh, if any of you guys have experience, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear your input. Uh, I'd, all, I'd honestly love to hear your input on this LCP if, if you guys have had similar issues with, uh, you know, extractors, rusting extractor springs. Uh, would be interested to see if I'm just kind of an anomaly or if this is a reoccurring issue with this pistol. Uh, also would love to know how the Ruger LCP-2 uh, is if they've improved uh, improved on this uh, layout and design. So overall, I I'm pretty disappointed. You know, I, I can't believe I I've, I've carried this thing around and uh, I wouldn't have had follow-up shots. You know, I would much, uh, much more recommend you picking up a revolver uh, than one of these. You know, spend spend the money, get a more reliable uh, pistol than one of these Ruger LCPs. You know, don't try to save some money. Uh, get something that uh, is going to be reliable and is is more accurate. You know, that's that's kind of where I'm I'm hanging my hat up nowadays. Is I've got to have something that's the dependable. If you're trusting your life on, on something like this, you need to make sure your equipment runs uh, and that you train with it. So, uh, again, would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about these uh, Ruger LCPs and if you've had an issue like this. We'll see you later.